If it actually turns on normally and just doesn't start anything, I'm going to be very disappointed. What the hell? Is it just going to take any disc in the console at this point? Boy, this thing got a f ton of use when I was in high school. For a frame of reference, I'm a second... No, wait. What year is it? I'm a third year college student. I haven't even transferred yet. I got my PS4 about a year or so after it launched in uh, 2013, and I've had the base model ever since. I used to spend countless long nights playing games like Uncharted, Shovel Knight, Godzilla, and countless long nights of Rocket League with friends and family. However, my PS4 has been out of commission for about a year or so now. Why is that? Because it's fucking haunted. I can't even watch The Devil Wears Prada for the 42nd time without being afraid it's gonna hex my family. Okay, let's backtrack and I'll start the story from the beginning. My PS4 used to be my primary console I'd do about 90% of my gaming on before I got my Nintendo Switch. Every day after high school, I'd come home, play about four to five hours, go to sleep, and do it again the next day. Weekends were a different story where I would put in X number of hours I don't want to confess to on camera, and on very rare occasions, I'd pack it up and take it to a friend's house and we'd play for even longer. My PS4 got a ton of use which I'm trying to get at here, like I definitely got my money's worth. While I usually play indie games like Shovel Knight that don't require a ton of power from the console, there were lots of long nights and my friends and I would stay up to the crack of dawn carrying my stupid ass through the Call of Duty zombie easter egg trophies. Now the launch PS4 model doesn't handle these kinds of games well at all, it'll run just fine at the cost of the PS4 sounding like a Boeing 747 getting ready for takeoff. Have you seen Doom 2016 run on this thing? It doesn't even have to be gameplay, this thing gets ready to take off before you get to the title screen. Like I'm literally just at the title screen and it's making this much noise. It wasn't even a problem with just fan noise, the PS4 turned my room into a goddamn sauna. It already doesn't help that I have the only bedroom in the house that doesn't have very good ventilation, even if the air conditioning unit is turned on. And with how hot it got, I'm pretty sure you can cook cup noodles off it. Now that I've vented about how a typical gamer wore the fuck out of his PS4, I can finally tell you why it's haunted. It all started one odd night about a couple years ago. I was just laying in bed trying to catch some Z's until, out of nowhere, for no reason whatsoever, PS4 just randomly decides to turn on. I don't have any animals or siblings I share a room with, and I didn't fall asleep with a controller or anything. No. PS4 just randomly decides to turn on. Now I should also preface before I get any further into my story that anytime my PS4 turns on, my TV also turns on. Any TV I've ever had my PS4 hooked up to is a smart TV. And they all have that feature where your TV turns on alongside whatever HDMI device you happen to have plugged in. At the time, I didn't think much of it. I figured maybe a software update had installed while I was in rest mode, and it simply just rebooted after it finished installing. I checked the next day, and there was no software update. Months had passed, and I had the PS4 hooked up in the living room for a couple weeks. It was just sheer laziness on my part to go behind the console and unplug it and bring it back into my room. One night while I was hooked up in the living room, I happened to walk past it to go grab something to cure the hungies, and what do you know? The PS4 was on. It wasn't even playing a game, it was just a PS4 dashboard illuminated in a pitch black room. No one in my house knows how to use the PS4 or even knows where the buttons are to turn it on. I don't even know how long it was on for, but somehow, it was on. At this point, I was like, okay, something weird is going on here. So I bought new power cables, and I stopped putting my PS4 in the rest mode, thinking there was some weird electrical problem going on here. And I moved the PS4 back into my room. And to be completely honest, I had completely forgotten about the whole ordeal. Until the next time my PS4 decided to act up. At this point, it was summertime, and I was in my bedroom minding my own business, probably watching cartoons or doing some monkey-brained activity, when, hands up, it wasn't me, not only does my PS4 decide to turn on on its own, but also decides to eject whatever disc was in the console at that moment. And at this point, I was convinced that my PS4 was either super scuffed or haunted by some ghost. Pause. I tried putting the disc back in the console, but the PS4 just wouldn't take it. It was like I was trying to put the disc in the console when there was already a disc in the console. But I just saw you eject Crash Team Racing. I'm not that stupid PS4. So the disk drive wasn't accepting the game it had just ejected. I should also probably mention that the PS4 was making a weird grinding sound that I'd never heard before. That's probably a very important plot detail. So I unplugged the console and plugged it back in and what do you know, it accepted the disk like nothing had happened. At this point I was keeping an eye on this <coughs> because systems don't eject disks out of nowhere. I tried googling disk drive problems for the PS4 and the only thing I could find was removing the rubber foot that sits underneath the touch sensitive button because it might rub up against the eject button and eject the disc. I did that and it didn't fix a goddamn thing because the PS4 acted up again. At this point in the timeline, I had moved on to other consoles at this point. I was rarely ever turning on my PS4 to play games. 
So when it continued to do spooky shit like this, it just confused me even more because it wasn't like I was actively playing it to the point of system malfunction. My PS4 was just bored. So the next time my PS4 decided to act up, I was lying in bed with my significant other. Six feet apart to maintain proper social distancing rules, of course. We were watching cartoons on my TV over there, while my PS4 is nonchalantly hooked up to my desk setup over here. And can you guess what happened next? The PS4 turned on, but not only did it turn on, it ejected whatever disc was inside of it with enough force that it just fell and hit the ground. Now this isn't some shitty creepy pasta. it didn't go flying and hit the wall or something. No, usually when a disc ejects, it sits about halfway outside the console, but this time when it ejected, it just fell and hit the ground. Almost like it was insulted that Godzilla was the last game I played. Not only did I have a witness to know that I wasn't going crazy, but it was also the final straw for me having to tolerate my PS4 doing weird things in odd hours of the night. Ever since then, it remains unplugged and tucked away in a corner. It's not that I'm afraid to turn it back on, but also around the same time, it just stopped working altogether. I remember during the outbreak, I figured it was a good idea to go by Persona 5 and try and play through it. I got past the first boss, and now the system will either not let me put the disc in, or just ejects it in the middle of gameplay. So I left it unplugged for a little while longer, and then one day I really wanted to watch Perfect Blue, and I didn't want to have to go on website to legally watch it. So I figured it could at least handle a Blu-ray, right? The disc literally just won't go in the console, it's like trying to stick a Cheerio. And I still haven't even seen Perfect Blue. So yeah. My PS4 is officially haunted. Every time I tell a story, no one legitimately believes me or just thinks I'm joking. I'm not saying this video is going to change any of those opinions, but either way you look at it, aliens, time travelers, ghosts, monsters, espers, or evil syndicates aside, my PS4 is in a very unplayable state and has been for about two or so years now. And I just want to be able to play Persona 5. I know it's not coming to Switch and I know I'm missing out. Well, the PS5 is out now and it can play what is it? 90% of the PS4's library, I'm pretty sure Bears Can't Drift is included in that percentage somehow. It makes no sense to buy another PS4 when I already know that the PS5 is out and does what I need it to do. I know that they are experiencing many shortages with the PS5, especially in 2020, but it's July 2021 now. It shouldn't be that hard to buy a PS5, right? Right?